And welcome back, everyone. The early signing period for fall and spring sports officially getting underway last week. Several Tennessee Valley area standouts putting the pen to the paper on the big day. We'll start off in Priceville. Lady Bulldogs basketball standout Jenna Walker enjoying a, one of the most exciting days of her life by signing a national letter of intent with Western Kentucky. Walker has racked up just about every single accolade you could think of in her career while she's wearing the black and gold. That includes all state, all region, all star, multiple MVPs while holding down a 4.2 GPA. She says playing college basketball is a dream come true and she can't wait to play for Greg Collins and the Hilltoppers next season. I was looking for a family feel. I was looking for a winning program and just a place that I could call home. And I knew that when I talked to Coach Collins on the phone for the first time, we talked for two hours and I was like, He's, he's the man that I want to play for, and I knew, and I went, my mom and my whole family went, and we went and visited, and when I set foot on the floor, I just knew I could imagine myself playing for them. I really want to do that because I couldn't be here by myself, and knowing that they've pushed me, my parents have pushed me, my team, my, even the community, I felt like I needed to give back because I wanted everybody to have a little piece of my new home to my original home, so. That was Jenna making reference to what happened after she signed on the dotted line. See, she had a gift for all her teammates and coaches, and inside the gift bag was a Western Kentucky t-shirt along with a handwritten note for every individual person. The notes were read out loud afterwards. Walker has been known to be the ultimate team player, and she wanted those who are close knit to her to let them know that she appreciates them so much than they could have ever imagined. And over at Bob Jones this week, two softball players signed side-by-side -side to play at the next level. After five years of commitment, catcher and first baseman Aubrey Lizenby finally made it official and signed to play at Auburn University next year. Her family has been longtime fans of the school, and Aubrey is even named after the school mascot, Aubby. She says taking the next step to be on the Plains is one that was never a doubt in her mind. They actually have some of the nicest facilities I've seen anywhere, and I absolutely love the way that their campus is set up, the school is set up and then everything is just seen as a family there and so for me that was really big to be able to feel like I was a part of not only just a softball team but an entire community of Auburn. And signing right next to her was pitcher Megan Schertz who signed to play under Les Studeman at UAH. Megan's ties with the program go back to her parents as well who both graduated from UAH. She says after being a young fan of the program she's more than excited to officially become a Charger. I've been going to camps at UAH for years, and my parents both went to that school. And in fact, they even got married on campus like 27 or 28 years ago. And um, it's just a really great place, and it feels like a home away from home for me. And finally, Hazel Green celebrated the career of Mackenzie Newcomb this week. She signed to play softball with Samford down in Birmingham. Her career at Hazel Green High School began back in seventh grade, but ever since her eighth grade year, she started and earned all state honors every single year. Newcomb has also recorded a career batting average of 410 and 36 homers. Like, I'm planning on going in there with my leadership. That's the one thing. Like, I want to be able to help the girls out as much as I can. I want to be able to pitch and make sure they're behind me and they trust me. Over Bob Jones, baseball standouts Thomas Ballard and Max Solis Jr. putting the pen to paper. Solis joined the Patriots last season as catcher and has been deemed a 2021 draft prospect. He plans to take his talents to the SEC at Arkansas. I just like the environment they have and felt like family as soon as I got there my freshman year, so that's why I chose them. And all the guys, it's just a great team. And signing right next to him was pitcher Thomas Ballard. Ballard plans to continue his career down the road in Birmingham at UAB. During his time with the Patriots, he has helped lead the team to a state title game and recorded 30 strikeouts in their limited game season last spring. He says signing to play in college is a dream come true. It's always been a dream of mine to play college baseball, and uh, I know they have a great program down there, and I uh, really liked all the coaches. Uh, I have a good relationship with all of them, and uh, on top of that, great school, um, uh, just great overall. In Florence, six Falcons signing letters of intent. Haley Coger signing a softball scholarship with Lane College in Tennessee. Five baseball players also signing. Grant Taylor is going to LSU. Kaysen Henry to Miami. Zeke Bishop to South Alabama. Parker White to Wallace State. And Jackson Mechralis will stay close and go to Calhoun. Yeah, we're extremely happy for those guys and our uh, Miss Coger as well. Uh, very talented 
talented group, that 21 class. Well, actually, we'll have probably a couple more that signed, but uh, there was a lot that went into today. Uh, these guys have been committed for several years. Most of them have, so I think they were just sitting around waiting for this day to happen, and so it finally came, and uh, like I said, I, I think their, their schools are going to have a, 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 a t very talented player on hand. Off to Westminster Christian now, where a pair of All-American swimmers signing their national letters of intent. Good friends Rebecca Hamilton and Ebony McCarty signing with rival schools Auburn and Georgia. Hamilton is a six-time state champion in individual events and a seven-time state champion in relays and will further a career on the plains with the Tigers. Ebony McCarty has won five individual and seven relay state championships. She also holds the all-time state record in the 50-meter free. She's taking her talents to Georgia. It's great. I've known her since I was like eight before we even swam together or anything. So we've practically grown up together and it's just really fun to be doing it next to my really good friend. I've been going to Georgia Stone Camp since I was maybe seventh grade and I've always loved their team and just the coaches in general. And it's been my dream school ever since I could really remember. So it's really a blessing for them to offer me a scholarship to be able to come to the school. I'm very excited to go there. All right, finally, let's go to James Clemens High School. Early in the week, Haley Patterson signing a soccer scholarship with Austin P. She's been an all-area standout who has taken her talents over to the OVC. Later in the week, uh, Connor Lajuri signing with Cedarville University in Ohio to play baseball. He's also an all-area standout and one of the top prospects on the team. Now, for Connor, going to Cedarville is actually a family tradition because most of his relatives are from the North. Congratulations to all of our student athletes who signed national letters of intent.